Hey everyone, it's Brian Porter, and today's tone tip, we're going to be talking about the notch straight edge and how I believe it's a, an essential tool for your shop. So we'll talk a little bit about um, what it is, what it's for, and then we'll show you kind of uh, how to use it in action. So this particular one uh, you can pick up from Philadelphia Luthier Tools. There's also Stumac and other places online that have these. Um, this allows you to check your fretboard for a level versus checking your frets. So if you had a regular straight edge and you set that on top of your frets, you may have a high fret or a low fret, but you don't actually know what the neck is reading itself. So this allows you to get over the frets with each of these notches. And then it allows you just to set it right on the fretboard and look and see you know, if your neck is straight or you have some relief in the neck as well. This particular one is a double-sided one. It's kind of handy. It's got the uh, Fender scale and the Gibson scale. So it's got corresponding spots to set this down and make sure that your neck is straight or like I said before, add that relief back into your neck with your truss rod. It's also a way that if you haven't really adjusted your truss rod very much before and you're uncomfortable with kind of how much that truss rod moves, it's a way to set this on there and just kind of see visually how much that truss rod change will affect um, not only your action, but just your relief in your neck and, and your setup of your guitar as well. So let's jump over to the bench and see how this works on a guitar, like kind of a real life example. All right, so over at the bench here, we are going to be working with one of our Lebois guitar models. Um, this particular one has some burnt chrome hardware, as you can see on it. Uh, we've kind of got it set up on uh, the neck cradle there. It's a good idea to to have it with a neck cradle. You want to make sure there's no other forces pushing on the, the neck and may, maybe that might give you a wrong reading uh, when you're using the straight edge on here. So let's take a look at kind of how we will place this on the guitar. So we'll reposition the camera so you can see that and then we'll go from there. All right, so over here we've got a little bit better camera angle for you to kind of see how this works. We are coming in from the side of the fretboard so you can see how this, this notched straight edge will work on here. This particular one uh, has, I think it's starting kind of at the first fret or second fret, so we'll find out here in a second. Yeah, But you'll just basically set that on the fretboard here. You can leave that with the strings on. Um, it's a good idea when you're doing setups and things like that. Obviously you wanna factor in the string tension as well. So this particular one is going to fit at the second fret and on, onward down. You can see how it'll fit there. So we'll adjust the camera again a little bit closer now to kind of see how to actually read this. But you can see now this skips the frets and it's going to go straight down to the fretboard. So we're going to actually be able to see exactly what that fretboard is doing. All right, coming from a kind of a lower angle here. So when you look at this to read this neck, you're going to want to really look from the side of the neck. Make sure that you're coming in at an angle so you can see any gaps underneath the not straight edge. So we'll set it in place here and we'll make sure that camera is focused. looks pretty good. So when you see that I set it in place here, we're, we're kind of looking at um, kind of the seventh to the ninth, kind of the fret area, like kind of the middle of the neck. You can see a little gap. See if as I lift that there, you can see a gap underneath the frets there. Um, kind of in, the, in those, you see those fret markers, you can see that gap in there. So we know that we have some relief in the neck. We know that if we want to take that out, we want to make that neck dead straight, we're going to have to turn our truss rod to the right and that will raise that up. If we need more relief, we're going to turn our truss rod to the left and that will drop it down. Uh, we're using a double action truss rod on this. Um, you may just want to refer to the type of truss rod that you're using um, when you're setting this up. But you can see how this really reveals those gaps in there. Now I'm going to see if I can hold this in place and then I'm going to adjust that truss rod and you should be able to see that relief start to go away. So take me a second here. We've got a heel adjust, adjust truss rod on here so I've got to kind of move the strings to the side. But as you can see there, that gap should be getting smaller as I turn. A couple noises here as I turn the truss rod. See that gap slowly start going away. And then as we look at that there, that would be dead straight. So that light, see how the, the notched edge goes straight down to the fretboard. So that would be a very straight neck. So you would want to straighten the neck if you were going to be doing some fret leveling or fret work on, on a guitar like this or one of your own guitars. Uh, but this, just, this tool is invaluable for the shop just to kind of get to know what, uh, what's happening. Some people will use 
you know, a certain amount of relief, a uh, factory setting type relief, and you can set your neck up and actually get a, a, a feeler gauge. That's the relief amount that you want and slide it under there. And once that fits, that will be the exact amount of relief that you, that you want. So these are very inexpensive, very valuable tools worth getting for your shop for sure. All right, so thanks for checking out our latest tone tips on the not straight edge. Uh, we'll include some links in the video, but you can check out again, Philadelphia Luthier Tools or Stumac to find one of these uh, for your guitars. Make sure you have one that corresponds to the scale length of your guitar as well. But I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to check us out at porterpickups.com. Thank you.